Hello everyone, this is Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about adding fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So guys, what we have here is that we need to add the following fractions with unlike denominators. So as you can see, from example number 1 and number 2, we have the denominators 4 and 5. For these fractions, they have different denominators, as well as here in example number 2. So what we need to do is to find first or to make these denominators the same or common. So how do we do that? First, we need to find what is the least common multiple between 4 and 5. So let's figure out what is the least common multiple. So for 4, we need to list down all the multiple of 4. We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. And for the 5, the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. So you will choose which one is the least common multiple. Between the two numbers, the multiple or the least common multiple is 20. So this is what we need to do, or this is the least common multiple for these fractions. So what we're going to do is we will multiply the original denominator by a number to make it 20. So what do we need to multiply? We will use 5. So it goes like this. We have 3 over 4, and then we have here times 5 and since we multiplied this denominator by 5 we will also multiply our numerator by 5 so what will happen what will happen is that this denominator will become 20 and for the numerator it will become 3 times 5 is 15 then plus so since we multiplied the denominator by 5 to make it 20, we need to do something about the denominator of the second fraction. So our target is to make this also a 20 for them to make or to have the same denominator. So what we need to multiply to make this 5 to 20 is simply 4. So this will this is the step plus 1 over 5, then multiply 5 by 4, and also our denominator. So what will happen is that it will become 1 times 4, this is 4, over 5 times 4, which is 20. And kung may notice nyo, we have the same denominator right now. So it's easier for us to add the following fractions if we have the same denominator. So let's add them. 15 plus 4, that would be 19. And then since our denominators are the same, Let's copy the denominator, which is 20. So what is the final answer? The final answer for this item is simply 19 over 20. This is the final answer. And by the way, guys, if the fractions must, if the fraction or your answer must be simplified or expressed in lowest term, try to do it. But in this case, kasi it's already in the lowest term. So let's continue with number 2. In number 2, we have 7 over 9 plus 2 over 3. We need to find out first what is the least common multiple between the two denominators. Let's start with 3. For 3, the, less com the multiples are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. For the 9, 9, 18, 27, 36, and so on. So try to observe the numbers. What is their least common multiple? The least common multiple is definitely 9 here. So we need to think, what are we going to multiply with the denominators? So let's start with 7 over 9. We have 7 over 9 ok 
Okay. Since our least common multiple is 9, we don't need to multiply any number to 9. Simply copy 7 over 9. And then plus, for the 2 thirds, or 2 over 3. So, we need to think, what is the number? So, by the way, may clue naman tayo. Eh. Kung ano yung multiply, bilangin natin mabuti. 1, 2, 3. So, yung placement natin, we will multiply this by 3. It's also by 3. And then, what will happen? It will become 7 over 9 plus 2 times 3, which is 6, over 3 times 3, which is 9. And as you can see, we have the same denominators right now. Add them. 7 plus 6 is 13 over 9. And as you can see, our fraction is an improper fraction, so we can convert this into a mixed number. 13 over 9 can be expressed or can be converted into a mixed number like 1 and 4 over 9. So what are the possible answers? The possible answers are this, pos this fraction and this mixed number. We have 13 over 9 or 1 and 4 over 9. That's it, guys. So as part of our routine, let me give you item number three for you to add because I want to, you to apply what you have learned from this video. For number three, I want you to add these two fractions. We have one-third plus one over six. I hope, guys, na makita ko sa ating comment section what is your answer in this problem. So, guys, that's it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!